Hello everybody, we have snowflake, we have gingers, we have blacks, and we have whites, all in one place. These are our quill special dairy blend. We have five triple stacks in the other room. But right now we're fixing to break off these eggs and, and, and put them to work. My sister's going to tell you more about the eggs. Why I start putting them in their breeding groups. We're trying to find you live here now. Oh, I'm not live. I'm just recording. Oh, okay. Then I won't I'll find post you. it live afterwards, though. Okay. These are the brand new gene to the United States Snowy Oz Quail. They're they what? Hold on real quick. Give me one second. Alright, go ahead. Say what, ma'am? These are the Snowy Oz Quail. It is a brand new gene coming all the way from Australia. Not it's Snow Flakes or Snow White. You said Snow what? Snowy Oz. Snowy like Oz. Like, oh, because they're from Australia. Like, like Wizard of Oz. Yep, they're from Australia. This gene, um... It comes exclusively from Thieving Otter Farms, and they have spent the last year and a half um, stabilizing it, stabilizing it, and making sure that it is going to breed true. It was part of their super secret selective spring selection. S S S S S. <laughs> um. And we had to go on a wait list in October for them. So we've been waiting a very long time for these eggs. It was a surprise of what they were going to be. No one knew what they were. You just ordered them because you knew they were going to be a brand new gene to the United States. So right now we are one of 300 farms across the United States that exclusively have this gene. They are a beautiful black and white bird with a very unique patterning that you cannot find anywhere else. They look like they got masks on. They almost look like black copper marines, but they're quail. Yep. Um, let me read you a little bit about Snowy Oz. So, Snowy Oz quail. All right. I didn't get very many. Nope, they're very select. I was just on Thieving Honors. Let's see. Dang it, they're wet. That means one broke. One broke? I don't know. They were wet. The first couple were wet. So usually that's a sign of a broken egg. Yep. Right here is probably where it was broken. No, I haven't found it yet. Okay. But a lot of these are wet. Hold on, Belly. Belly has been not able to hold her bladder anymore. Oh. So every five minutes, she's going to go outside now. So the, these are the Thieving Otter Farm Super Secret Surprise Selections. The SSSS is a chance for a fun new adventure. It's a spe very special, brand new spanking Caternix Quell Jean. Um... We had to order blindly. And she really hasn't posted much about it other than that on her website. So let me go on to where I know about them. Snowy Oz Quail. I still ain't found the broken one, but they're wet. Well, they were outside, right? Yeah, been in a box. Now they were in the in the they were set up right in the uh, mailbox. It's a fairly new mutation. Um, it was first found by Camaro Roswell at Camilla Quail in Australia. 
Um, it's only found in two other countries, and now the uh, United States would be the third. It does not present in hetero, hetero, heterozygous form, so it's recessive. So you can only see the gene if both the parents have the gene. On pharaohs and EV base, the bird will have the same pattern with a light reddish gray color. The chin strap will also display a light brown instead of the typical black. The biggest difference between roe plus fee, Egyptian fee, and oz snowy is that oz snowy is not sex linked. On fawn base, the bird will have the same patterning, but almost all color will be gone. It presents a very similar to the pearl fee with a light gray, white background, and black patterning. That's unique only to Oz Snowy. It's called Oz Snowy in all of its base forms, FS on fawn and wild types, and NS, NFS on EV base. So basically this gene can go across all different colors, and you can carry the Oz Snowy gene in a recessive form and not see it. I'm not but understanding, if, so I can breed it with snowflakes? No, snowflake is a bob white. You can you can breed it with any other Caternix quail, and it will carry the Oz Snowy mutation gene. Okay. But you need both the mom and the dad to have it to show the unique patterning. It almost looks like a cheetah. Yeah, how do I know if these got it? Because it's cheetah pattern. Yeah, it'll have a cheetah pattern. Um, it can be like Oz Snowy Italian. Duh. And it'll have a yellowish cheetah pattern to it. It can be an Oz Snowy Zero. And it'll have a very, like, kind of beautiful yellow-white cheetah patterning to it. Um, it can be... It can have feet to it, and it'll be a black and white with a cheetah patterning to it. Very unique. It's not... Similar to the pearl fee, like the black and white dotted one, or the growl fee that has the bees. Instead, this think cheetah pattern all throughout the whole bird. So the pearl fee has black and white dots. The growl fee has black and white bees. And this um, Oz Snowy fee would have a black and white cheetah patterning throughout the whole bird. See if I can show Mama kind of what it will look like. That's what it will look like. Hmm. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. And so on the group that we've been on, um, it can come off as yellow if you do it with an Italian versus the Fiji, which will make it more gray and black and white. But even on the Pharaoh, it looks really beautiful. Um, there it is on the, with the fee. Okay. Very, very beautiful bird. Uh, our snowflakes and one of the things have it laid in two egg racks. Uh, uh, the other snowflakes already laid two eggs and these guys haven't laid one. It's been uh, three days since they laid an egg. You might need to check the female and just make sure she doesn't have prolapse. What's that? Where the egg gets stuck. How do I know? It'll, you'll know. You'll turn her over and her vent will have an egg sticking there that she can't get out. Okay. Well, uh, I have been checking their water a lot lately, so I don't know if that might have spooked them. Because the male yeah, got it, out and flew around when I was checking the water last night. Yeah, sometimes if you stress them out, then they will delay for a little bit. They're the outside edge. They're not in the middle, so I don't know if that might have something to do with it. Well, are they warm and they're getting light? Yeah, they're getting the closest to the window light, and they're right underneath the vent for the heater, which I've been having the heater on lately. Because it's been cold. Yeah. yeah, if they're not getting a full 18 hours of light, then that can also delay their legs. So. Oh, they've been getting 24 hours of light. Okay, I go I go in there and it's pitch dark in the room. 
No, that's only at nighttime. Every once in a while, I turn the lights off. But barely ever. I only do that when they're making a lot of noise during the nighttime. Did you mark that snow Aussie eggs? You yeah, they're the all difference. in the middle. They're marked with pink lines down all of them. They got S's on them. Okay, thank you. Then Tammy, I'll be able to find them. They're right in the middle. Okay. I'm going to leave the outer ones not filled so we know. Okay. Well, Mama asked, were any broken? No, not that I found. But they were okay. wet. So one might have a oh, micro Oh, look at that me. beautiful egg. But, oh, we can't. But wow. it's broken. Aww. It's alright. And it was still good. It was just crelat. Then their sacks are so strong. Yeah. I'm telling you, quail eggs are stronger than any other eggs I ever came across. Even if they're cracked, they don't break. Right. They use candle wax to crack. Yeah, we've. Mama said she's seen where they've used candle wax to seal it. We've used wax and tape before, and they've hatched. Yeah, I think that that one has wax on it right there from the yeah. new one we got. It's probably where it's leaking it. So I was looking at it. It looked like it's got wax on it. Um, Tommy's going to come over at 4.30 to help with the processing. He has to work till then. But y'all should process some um, roosters. What are you talking about processing today? No, Thursday for all oh, the yeah. 200 give, quail. Give me one second. Okay. These are all eggs just from the hatching time and a couple of our other stuff. All we had was two Snow Whites. Since when? Out of one cage, because we only got two cages producing. Until we find uh, matches for our other Snow White male. Yeah. We're getting like a hundred eggs a day. Well, at least to Thursday. She's going to bring down the last GQF. I thought she was keeping it to the that to, to this time. This is it. She's bringing all the birds, so you all the eggs will be down with you. Okay. I'm not done with the barn. I know. Well, she's got to set up the uh, trailer where if she can, if she has to feed water and do poop hands in there for a couple of days, she can do that. There was something else I was going to ask about. Oh, yeah, so y'all should take some of those chicken roosters when you're done processing all those quail on Thursday and have a dinner. Mom says do six. We can give two to Tommy. Y'all can eat two and then have two left over for Tammy while you're gone. What are you talking about? Chickens? Yeah. Okay. Your roosters, the ro extra roosters. Yeah. You can give you, you can do more than that and give some to Tyrone. Hey, we got we got some in the freezer still. Oh, okay. Yeah, that filled up. We're making at least a hundred eggs. 
Good. Ask what, Mama? Stand up freezer food in there. Oh, Mama wanted to know in the stand up freezer, is that all old food? Yeah, I did feed it to the chicken slowly. Okay. He's got some chickens in the freezer, I guess. Tammy can eat on those. That's probably the ones that taste like soap. You know it? That he, he processed when we were there last time. If so, we'll just feed that meat to the dogs and start over. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, that's good. We're getting about 100 eggs a day. Ask him, did you clean out? Did you pull the door out? The white heads are the females, right? Um, yes, the white heads are females. Well, she doesn't have any eggs stuck in her vent. Okay. Yeah, These that's are the snowflakes by whites. She's not as Very active. Rare. Should I put her with that other male for a little bit? No, they're monogamous. Once they have a mate, you don't want to move them around a lot. So how's he gonna go with another mate then? If they're like well, they're... his mate died, so now he's pining, and he's hearing the other one's mate, so he will accept some regular bob whites in there. Okay. Ask him if you pulled out what. Well, you don't want to have it on record. Yeah, it's on record right now, so. Bailey is in clean hot. That means her tongue. Who's Bailey? The dog. He said Bailey's not holding on her feet. Oh. I need your kidneys to pair. She needs to drink what? What she need to drink to help her kidneys? Ezeo it's an Ezeo pill that Tim used to use to bladder infections. He could uh, dissolve it and put it in a bowl for her to drink, and that will help if it's a bladder. Might have kidney. kidney. So, you know, they're, they're not that expensive, they're about just. You can get them at the dollar store right there. And like, you see how he's a woman? Pass it and do it once she's not on record. We might be getting like 200 eggs a day. Down 
finding the birds outside. I got a whole nother rack in my shirt. Yep. And she's getting about 150 or so eggs a day. I can tell you exactly what she's getting. Hold on one second. We got to try to produce these eggs because we're not going to have any more of these guys. So, Bob White, she's getting about 67 a day. Cow, she's getting about 47. And Celadon's a blue egg, she's getting about 14. So that's 115 or so eggs. <clears throat> I say, if they get to that cupboard, that place they would start, they might take the processed ones because they sell meat. Mama's saying there's that restaurant near Starkville. It's not a restaurant. It's like a market. Um, I sent y'all the address, but they sell meat there. She's not sure they actually sell quails. So you might be able to get a contract there. Need to call the restaurants in Starkville. Yep. But you need your MPIP for first. And we need to find a kitchen that we can rent for two hours that's certified. There is none in Mississippi. There's not a single kitchen certified? No. There's not unless you want to pay $400 an hour. That's what old boy with me was talking about. You had to have an inspector on site. Why are you processing too? A certified inspector by so how the is state. He doing it? Huh? So how's he doing it? Well, I'm on recording. I really don't want to talk about that. Oh, okay. Homeowners get when you're doing you're allowed so many as a as a small <coughs> farm. Oh, okay. But it's limited. You can't be on the commercial level. Yeah. Okay, well that was a tray and a half. Well, we can split it with Tommy. Split what? For a homeowner. The what? He has a home and you have a home. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers are. Yeah. Hey, Robbie.
Hey, Robbie, you still there? Hey, Robbie, you done recording? No, I'm bringing the babies in. Oh, okay. Hi, pretty babies. Look at those black babies. Juju, why you got a feather in your eye? Let me see. Look. Yeah, when you're done re when you're done recording, Mama had something to ask you. Okay. You do get to see them babies. Are those the black copper morans? Yep. We just broke those from the redhead homestead in Florida. Your baby. She's a baby. She's a puppy. These are your job to protect these little guys. So I'm gonna put them in with the quill for now. Uh, they're gonna be paying quick. Well, I'm not gonna leave them in there for more than a couple of days. Okay. Just so I can keep a good eye on them. How many do we end up having? So far, two, four, six, seven. I just found a whole bunch of black copper moraine eggs. Oh, good. They were laying in the barn, in the in the RV. Do we need to put the roof on? Yeah. I mean, they filled the whole sink completely up. Mm. Well, we need to hatch those. Yeah. Yeah. 